what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to update your PS Vita manually so if you have a PS Vita that's on a low firmware and you want to update it to 3.60 for Nkaku just follow my step and you can have it done so it's very simple so the first thing you want to do is download the PS Vita QCMA manual update download it and once you have it download make sure that you save it in documents so it should be like this and make sure you have winwar or 7-zip on your PC so go ahead and open it now just drag the PSV update right here and after that open it and right here where it says PSP2 go ahead right click and click edit and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated you have to pay attention right here open region now and as you can see mine says right here region ID US so if you are in um, Europe make sure you change this to AU or if you're in Japan make sure you change it to JP or Korea change it to KR so just change it to whatever region you are located so mine is US so I'm gonna leave it as US and all you have to do is just change that if you're in a different region once that's done go over to the QCMA website go all the way down and you want to make sure you download the Windows installer if you're using Windows or you can download Mac if you're using a Mac after you've got that go ahead and install it so just download it and install it after you have installed it on your desktop you will get an icon so just go ahead and just run that you will get this message so click down here right click click settings click others and you want to make sure you unclick this go back to folders and as you can see guys right here it says update web content C documents PSV update right here so press OK and what we're going to do from right here is go over to our PS Vita. So on the PS Vita, you want to make sure that you go into settings. And you want to go down system go to auto start settings and you want to untick these make sure that update online status for PSN is also unticked press circle and I'll show you that my Vita is on 3.36 so go back out and what you want to do now is connect your Vita using the USB cable or whichever cable that your, your, your Vita supports. You will get a message on your PC. So go down to update and go down to update by connecting to PC. Click X and just give it time. As you can see, the Vita has now detected 3.60. Make sure that you double check this like three or four times. Make sure that it's the right um, custom firmware. Sorry, make sure that it's the right um, firmware you are installing. You don't want to go over 3.60. So this is correct for me. That's the one that I want. So press next you will get this message so press yes you're gonna greet it with this message go all the way down 
accept and click update Okay, so now let's remove the cord and let's go and check the firmware that it's on right now. Go all the way down to system, system information, and there you go, 3.60. I also forgot to mention guys, make sure that your PS Vita is not connected to the internet. So make sure you turn off the internet, disconnect from the Wi-Fi or any internet you have. So that's it guys, that's how simple it is to update your Vita manually from any low firmware to 3.60. So in my next video, I'll show you how to install Henkaku firmware on this and also I'll show you how to add some games and stuff. So if this video was helpful to you guys, please leave a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want. And I will see you guys in my next video.